the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library and Museum. It's located at 40 Presidential Drive. There is ample parking up here and it is free. So when you come up here for your visit, there's plenty of parking and there is no charge for the parking as well. And you get all of these amazing views up here for free. And that's what we're gonna see today. This is the family meadow area. It consists of a number of picnic tables. So when you come up here, you can have a picnic lunch. There is extensive landscaping up here. So they're always changing it around and at different times of the year, there's different flowers that are blooming. We've had a pretty severe drought but you know what they've maintained the landscaping really well here across from the entrance to the library is what's known as the Simmons family scenic vista a green area with benches there's blooming bougainvillea here with just amazing views of the valley looking towards Simi Valley a very serene and calm place up here even though there are quite a few people in the museum outside it is very quiet here there are a number of statues and memorials around the whole uh, grounds up here. So the museum offers amazing views in just about every direction. Now that building there houses Air Force One. You can see a statue of Ronald Reagan down there on his horse overlooking uh, the views that are out here. One of the things you'll notice when you come up here is that the Southwestern construction that's here contains the atrium, which is very uh, common in Southwestern construction. It's also a beautiful fountain here. So I'm sitting here at the atrium with a fountain and the entrance to the museum. It just amazes me how quiet and serene it is up here. Pretty much amazing views everywhere you look. You can see through the palisade there that there are the mountains. So I want to give you an idea of the 360 view up here. So behind me, of course, is the museum. Museum. I'm standing at the edge of the replica of the White House lawn. So I'm going to just spin around real slowly and show you a number of buildings and exhibits up here. But again, my favorite part is the views. As you can see behind me, you can see all the way to the Pacific Ocean. So this spot was picked for the location, the views, and the proximity to a lot of other things here in Southern California. There is a gift shop and a snack bar cafeteria up here that are open to the public and are not required to have admission to get into. So this is actually a pretty phenomenal place to come up here with your friends. Uh, you can bring a picnic lunch up here, get something at the cafeteria, and just sit out here and enjoy the beauty and the views out here. And this costs you nothing. Uh, the only time you pay is when you go inside the museum. This area is called the Grippers Grove. And it looks like a number of trees here, mainly crepe myrtles that have been planted here. So after exploring the grounds up here, I decided to change my mind again, like we always do. I'm going to go inside. I want to take you to see Air Force One. So come on with me while we go inside and see the plant. At the far end of the Reagan Library and Museum is Air Force One, the actual plane that Reagan and many other presidents flew on. And it's got a commanding view of the valley. You can actually see this from uh, Terra Rahata when you're driving down at night and the lights are on. Here's another view of Air Force One. You can actually go inside of the airplane. Uh, we're not gonna go today. I just wanna give you a few little highlights because you need to come up here to see all of this and enjoy it yourself. There is also Marine One helicopter helicopter that Reagan used uh, for shorter trips, go from various spots to others. So I'm on the lower level down here next to uh, the helicopter and underneath the plane. As you can see, there's a bunch of kids here getting ready to go up and see the plane. There's also a couple examples of the beast, the presidential cars that are specially hardened and equipped for the president to ride in. So I want to show you this massive glass wall that faces out toward Terra Rahata. It is huge. And this is where Air Force One is stored. You can kind of see it through uh, the windows here. It is on display. You can actually go inside of that. There is also a memorial here to the Gold Star families and relatives who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country. There is also a piece of the Berlin Wall here. This piece of the wall was donated. And as you can see, the construction of it, it is one solid piece of the wall that was standing separating west and east. Berlin. Again, one of Reagan's major accomplishments was getting that wall to come down. Of course, the library and museum is the resting place of Ronald and Nancy.
met C. Reagan both. Uh, Ronald passed away before Nancy. Nancy just recently passed away in 2016, Reagan in 2004, but they have a beautiful memorial here to them. So I want to thank you for joining me here at the Ronald Reagan National Library and Museum. Although this is not maintained by the Parks and Recs Division of Simi Valley, this is a national monument. It is an integral part of Simi Valley and many people that live here work up here. Uh, you can come up here at any time. There are areas you can access for free and the tours for seniors $13. So you can buy tickets in advance or you can buy them on the day when you come up here. So again, thank you for joining me. The views up here are phenomenal. So until the next time we see each other, take care. Bye. Yeah, you can't beat the sunsets up here. Keep it simple, keep it sweet. Here's a line I heard somewhere. Feel the ground under your feet. It can take you anywhere.